Okay, in this video, I want to explain to you why using paid advertising is like taking steroids for yourself and organic marketing is like working out and how all of this relates back to your e-commerce business. Okay, so I'm going to give you this analogy. Just imagine, right, you're working out, you're going to the, to, to want to improve your body, uh, your physique and stuff. Okay, and you're doing push-ups, you're doing pull-ups, you're using your body weight to basically build muscle. Okay, when you're building muscle, it's like organic marketing, organic reach, okay? You're spending a lot of time uh, with it and uh, it takes time, definitely. It's a slow build-up. Uh, to whatever success metric that you're going for, be it a revenue amount uh, per month, or be it you want tons of muscles, you want a six pack, right? And then if you use paid advertising, which I do a lot of, definitely, but it's like steroids, it's the cheat code, um, you do it very fast, uh, you get success very fast, okay? But just keep this in mind, okay? If you are going the fast route, I'm not saying paid advertising is bad, steroids is bad, paid advertising is not bad, right? If you're going the fast route, um, I want you to take that steroid money the, the money that you made when you injected those steroids, right? And you reinvested it back into the business. Okay, and, and you go and do organic marketing. Okay, so if you are in, in very, very impatient like me, right? You go into paid advertising and then uh, you go and make that money and then you quickly take that money and reinvest back into growing organic channels such that you're not such so reliant on paid advertising, right? If you're jacked up on steroids, right? It's the, the, the climb is very, very fast, but the, the downslope is very fast as well because you're extremely reliant on the drug essentially. Okay, so this is what I, I want you to, to not do, right? I don't want you to go and take that store, store of money and then you just spend it on something. You go and reinvest into your business so that you build foundations that are very, very strong. Okay, you take the fast route first and then you take the fast route, you take the money and then you compound that and then you grow it over time. Okay, the mistake that people make is that they, how do I say this? They just entire, entirely rely on 100% um, paid traffic, right? And that when that paid traffic just doesn't work at, at, at that day, that week or whatever it is, right? Then they just give up and they just like quit uh, or the entire business implodes. Okay. And that shouldn't be the case, especially if you're running a long-term business, right? So as the entrepreneur yourself, right? The, the steroids are good. Okay. I'm not saying that they're bad. Okay. But when you inject it, you better make sure that the gains that you're, you're taking on, uh, that they're putting it back into building something that is a long-term asset. Okay. An asset, Basically, in accounting terms, right, it's anything that produces economic value um, in the future. Okay, so if you think about that, assets, right, stand the test of time. There shouldn't be a case where uh, the asset, like, just implodes. Okay, and that is what, like, a lot of businesses, that's what they, they encounter. They scale, 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 and then um, imagine doing $30,000 one day, right, and then the next day, they do, like, $400 per day which is crazy to think about it, if you think about it, right? Because it's like, if you build something for so long, how can it, uh, such that your entire business is entirely reliant on one channel, one, one, whatever it is, okay? So how do you actually take that steroid money and then you put it back and then reinvest and then you get the organic marketing going, okay? And what is the advantage of this organic marketing uh, going, okay? Organic marketing is when you do not have to pay for ads and traffic still comes to you uh, customers, online sales still come to you without you having to pay any money uh, for that channel, for the access, for that that attention. Okay, so what are the methods or what are the things that you actually can go into? Okay, so you can go into stuff like uh, producing and uh, creating a community, like a Facebook group, for example, right? And the people in there are constantly promoting your products, constantly talking about your products, stuff like that. Okay, so that, that is a form of word of mouth marketing because people purely uh, like the product very, very much. And uh, if they are in a group, right, um, then that viral, virality effect comes into play as well, right? The, the, the cost that you acquire one customer decreases over time and that basically improves your margin over time as well, okay? The second thing obviously is SEO. SEO is very slow. It's search content based or YouTube based, for example. And so um, you just need to get in front of your audience and stay there and then uh, get rankings, get organic traffic people uh, visiting your site, for example, okay? So SEO is slow, but it works, okay? And it's very, very profitable over time as well, okay? And that is why if you see a lot of the, the biggest SaaS companies in the world, right? They, their content marketing strategy is massive. Like they, they pour like millions into like content writing per se. Like for example, Ahrefs is an SEO tool. They, they like invest heavily into content and making sure that the product is good enough uh, so good that people actually recommend it, okay? And that, that's, I think, the, the reason why a lot of um, marketers, right, they, they don't understand, it's like, as long as the product is good, as long as you're pro consistent, consistently uh, providing value to your audience, right, they will constantly buy from you, right? You do not need to, obviously, uh, paid advertising is good, but if you layer on an extremely good product that delivers results, right, and then you layer on paid advertising, then you're gonna be unstoppable, okay? So that's the second channel, right? The third channel obviously is like influencer marketing. So you, you tap onto and you leverage other people's form of traffic, um, of channel of an audience already. And then you bring them into your, to your own world, 
right? For example, if I'm working with an, with an influencer, uh, he or she has an Instagram profile, uh, X amount of uh, followers, right? Or they have an email list, for example, they're an influencer in their space. So the people who listen to them, right, they generally will listen to this guy, right? And then you bring them into your world as well. Okay, and so you, you leverage other forms uh, of um, audience building, in a sense, to grow your own audience, okay? So, like I said before, I think the entire conclusion or the entire summary of this video is that I want you to understand that, hey, um, steroids, you go and take as much as you want, okay? But you better make sure that once you get that fast cash, that fast money, right, go and reinvest and really, really build a brand that people really like, right? And ensure that the people actually buying your product, right, they like it so much until they are willing to come back to you and pay you for another time, okay? We don't want a churn and burn model and business is hard enough, but once you start scaling, right, it should feel increasingly easier to get more and more customers, okay? And that's what a flywheel is basically is, okay? So if you're running your e-commerce store, uh, your, your business right now, uh, you're feeling stuck or you're feeling like, hey, this is very, really, very really difficult, okay? These are the things you should uh, definitely think about and definitely focus on so that you do not make the same mistakes that a lot of people uh, have, right? They, they, they scale up the ad spend, they scale up the revenue, it looks very, very good, but then overnight, the entire business just implodes, which makes no sense, okay? So think long term, uh, think about, can this business last me for the next three to five years? Okay, if the answer is no, right, then you need to change something. You need to take that steroid money and just put it into something uh, long term as well. Okay, if you need any help uh, with your advertising and stuff, uh, I'll put the links in the description. You can check out uh, the video and stuff. Okay, and I will see you uh, in the next video.